Hi there, Doug Stumann with IT Creations with our very first Cisco system, the Cisco UCS 480M5 Blade Server. This four socket server node supports up to 18 terabytes and is designed for the Cisco UCS 5108 Blade Server chassis, which is part of Cisco's unified computing system. M5 is Cisco's latest generation server and features support for first and second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. According to Cisco, this new design can reduce administrative costs by up to 63% and accelerate delivery of new application services by up to 83%. That sounds very impressive. Let's take a look. Cisco's 6U UCS 5108 Blade Server chassis can house up to four of these full width, something less than one U in height, B480 M5 Blade Servers. It can also support up to eight half width nodes like the UCS B200 or a combination of blade form factors. Cisco's unified computing system simplifies server deployment with a unified fabric and fabric extender technology, reducing the number of physical components, improving energy efficiency, and drastically reducing the need for independent management. It's also designed to reduce total cost of ownership by supporting several generations of server nodes from the M1 generation through to the current M5 generation. It also removes the need for dedicated chassis management, blade switches, excessive cabling, and can easily scale to 20 chassis. I paraphrased that a bit from their side. And maybe I shouldn't have used it again at the beginning of the second sentence, but what's the Cisco B480 M5 server node good for? Your basic mission critical enterprise applications, plus extreme virtualization and database workloads but there are many more options available depending on your choice of server node. Are you interested in the Cisco UCS 480M5 server node or maybe the whole 5108 blade server chassis? If you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. You know, where was I? Oh yeah. The 5108 blade server chassis supports the power, cooling, management, and network connections. Up to four rows of server nodes occupy the upper half with four 250 watt power supplies with integrated telltale LEDs occupying the lower tier. And they are massive. Power can be provided on a non-redundant basis with just two PSUs or N plus one redundancy with all four installed. From a design standpoint, it looks kind of strange with the PSUs tacked onto the bottom of the chassis, but it does isolate the GPUs from the main portion of the chassis, which is a major source of heat buildup. On the back of the chassis, there are two pairs of four large fans separated by either a fabric extender module or a fabric interconnect module. The chassis will take a maximum of two of the fabric modules for aggregated bandwidth or redundancy, but you can install just one. The server nodes connect to the fabric interconnects or fabric extenders through a mid plane. The fabric extenders replace the switches at the chassis, reducing complexity and cabling. The fabric extenders we have here is the 2204 XP featuring four SFP plus 10 gigabit ethernet unified fabric ports and associated LEDs for network communication status. There are two other fabric extender options with one that has eight SFP plus 10 gigabit ethernet ports and another supporting QSFP plus ports at up to 40 gigabits per second using fiber optic cables. There are upgraded version two fabric extenders too, which offer other connection speeds and more bandwidth, but V1 and V2 extenders are not compatible with each other. There's a single fabric interconnect, the UCS 6324, which combines a fabric extender with a fabric interconnect for direct connection to an external switch. All of these options require transceivers and there are quite a few options there too. Like I said earlier, the 5108 chassis will support up to four of these full width UCS B480 M5 server blades. It also supports the B480 M4 version of this blade, but only two. So apparently some improvements were made. If you are installing other form factors in the chassis, then Cisco recommends placing the full width units in the lower tier of slots. Our UCS B480 M5 blade server has four 2.5 inch storage bays on the front of the system. The lower right hand has a control panel. Reading left to right, there is an on off button with integrated LED, a network link status LED, a blade health LED, connection for crash cart, reset button, and a locator button LED. Management of the system is accomplished through Cisco's Unified Computing System Manager, or just the UCS Manager for short. There are several other applications under the Unified Computing System umbrella, including Cisco's Auto Discovery capability, which automatically recognizes and configures new chassis added to the network. Additional applications provide more granular control of the system's virtual and physical hardware assets. Once we pull out the server node, you can see the entire motherboard. The UCS B480M5 can support up to four Intel Xeon scalable processors from either the first or second generation, up to 28 cores. Each of the four processors supports six memory channels with two modules per channel for 12 memory module slots per CPU. With all four processors installed, there's a total of 48 active memory module slots. You could also go with a two processor configuration, but you will only get half the memory capacity and mezzanine slots two and three will not be active. 
The CPU, memory modules, and configuration will determine the memory speed. In general, first-gen processors support a maximum memory speed of 2666 MHz, and the second-generation Intel Xeon scalable processors will support 2933 MHz. Second-generation gold and platinum processors will also support the most memory at a little over 18 terabytes using 24 512 gigabyte Intel Optane memory modules, paired with 24 256 gigabyte 3DS registered memory modules. Using just DDR4 registered or load-reduced memory modules will provide a maximum memory capacity of up to 12 terabytes. For both of these maximum memory deployments, you will need processors with an L suffix that support 4.5 terabytes each for a total of up to 18 terabytes. Gold and platinum processors are recommended given they are the only ones that support three UltraPath interconnects or UPI channels for vastly improved CPU to CPU communications. Other processors are supported, but only offer two UPI paths. The system also supports something called through silica via DIMMs or TSV DIMMs, which are memory modules too. They were released in 2015, but I have a feeling the name never really took off. Returning to the drive bays, Cisco definitely has their own way of doing things with drive trays that are integrated with a RAID controller and installed in one of the two front mezzanine connectors. There are three drive trays to choose from. Two flex storage trays, one of which offers two gigabyte flash backed write cache and one without. The third is a flex storage tray with pass-through for NVMe drives. The flex storage drive tray RAID controller we have here supports one or two SAS SSDs or HDDs and plugs into one of the two mezzanine connectors in the front of the chassis. Those same connectors can be used for the supported GPUs. It offers 12 gigabit per second SAS support and RAID configurations of zero and one. The B480 M5 blade has five mezzanine slots with two in front and three in the rear of the server node. Mezzanine one in the rear supports the LAN on motherboard and is dedicated for support of the 1340 virtual interface card. Mezzanine slots two and three support other options like the other virtual interface card we have here, plus one port expander card. The virtual interface card or VIC provides an extremely flexible 40 gigabit interface to create multiple network interface controllers and host bus adapter devices. It also supports up to 256 separate and unique PCI adapters and interfaces, plus virtual machine visibility from the physical network. We have both the UCS VIC 1380 and VIC 1340, which provide a LAN on motherboard for blade servers. The port expander card enables an additional four ports on the VIC 1340. A mini storage connector on the motherboard can be outfitted with two SD cards or two M.2 storage devices to support your OS and hardware RAID. Both require their own modular adapter, but it's either or, because they cannot be installed together. An internal USB device is also supported. Lastly, you can install up to four NVIDIA P6 grid GPUs using the two front mezzanine connectors and rear slots two and three. Strangely, the GPUs that mount in those front PCI connectors have a different form factor to those supported in the rear, but we don't have either, so you're just gonna have to use your imagination. We hope you enjoyed our review of the Cisco UCS B480 M5 blade server and the 5108 blade server chassis. I mean, we couldn't just show you the blade without the blade enclosure, now could we? At 6U, you can step up to four full width servers like our B480 M5 for up to 112 cores of processing power per node or mix it up with a few half width servers. And with support for several generations of blades, you definitely have options with the UCS 5108 blade enclosure. IT Creations carries the UCS B480 M5 server node and the UCS 5108 blade chassis, so click that link if you want to see pricing, and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button to get more reviews of the latest in IT hardware and professional workstations. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.